Yes, ladies and gentlemen, it's real late on Hot 97 on a Sunday night in New York City. And uh, my man's back. New album out right now. Rock Marcy is in the building. Yes, sir. What is up, bro? I'm chilling, man. Can't complain, man. Life is good. How is the UN? I want to know how the UN's doing right now. Everybody's chilling, man. Doing family life, working. You are, know you friend, are you still friends with everyone in the UN? Yeah, we all grew up together. It's all family. We're all homies, yeah. Anyone That's still in the music game besides you? Nah. You were the only one who continued on? Yeah. Now, you found an interesting lane mm -hmm. that we, last time I saw you, I feel like the last time I interviewed you was at my spot. It was. Like eight, seven years ago, maybe. Yeah, your wife was pregnant. No, she's not pregnant. Whoa, unless, she? Uh, no, Something she like haven't that? had a kid yet. Was so, like if that? my wife was pregnant, then there's a separate storyline. <laughs> <laughs> I, I could nah, be wrong. But no, I know but she was gone. She was out. Yeah, I don't remember where my wife was, but I do okay. remember this interview from a few years ago. That was okay. on like a couple albums back. Okay. Um, but you're you're out right now. Yeah. Um, new album called uh, Rosebuds. Yeah, Rosebuds Revenge. Um, Rosebuds now. Revenge. Sorry. And yes, uh, sir. first of all, how have you uh, enjoyed your lane? You've kind of cut out for yourself the last few years. Like, I feel like you mm -hmm. occupy the space, mm -hmm. sort of a space that like Ka is mm -hmm. kind of in. Mm -hmm. um, and I think you're a, a, maybe like one level up, but in that sort of lane of like real hip hop heads, very mm -hmm. specific kind of rap. Mm -hmm. um, how has it worked out for you so far? It's been good, man. I can't front, man. I love my privacy, so it's been good for me, man. I can't front, man. I'm making bread, doing what I love to do. I don't got no bosses. I'm my boss, so it's, it's no complaint. Was that your initial, when, when you originally do the UN and you mm -hmm. guys are working with Pete Rock and mm -hmm. you do all this stuff now that goes back 15 years or whatever, mm -hmm. what was your initial goal at mm -hmm. that point? Um, I just wanted to make music. You know what I'm saying? I really, um, I, I didn't have a business mind at the time. I was just making music. I just wanted to... Uh, you know, come in the game and be respected first and foremost. That's what I was thinking about at the time. And did you, at what point did you realize there was a way to do this? Because mm -hmm. I know, like, for example, you uh, you went out to Los Angeles. You spent mm -hmm. a lot of time out there, mm -hmm. right? Most of your time? Yeah, yeah actually. But you're on a little New York run right now, mm -hmm. hanging in New York for a little bit. But yeah, generally absolutely. speaking, you went out to Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. um, like, how did you, when did it start coming together, what this plan would be? Was it just totally organic? It was organic. Um... I guess after, like when I was making Mossberg, I had a, a major deal. I was on SRC um, when I did when I did a deal to do that album. So um, in the process of making the album, you know, things happened. I ended up leaving the label, but they let me leave with my uh, my bread and my music. So it kind of like just happened organically. I had my music, I had I had my bread. So that's how it worked. Why out. do you like uh, LA <laughs> as a as a rap town? Because I think it's an underrated. LA is a really mm -hmm. underrated hip hop city. LA and the Bay. So, you know, I go back. No, you go back and forth, right, right. Yeah, I go to, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like the Bay has a little bit more of a reputation. Like, we know mm -hmm. the Bay is uh, musically and mm -hmm. culturally such a mm -hmm. stronghold. But L.A. is interesting because some people give it a hard time because of the Hollywood part. But I've always mm -hmm. found that because the Hollywood is there, yeah. the flip side of that coin is a very, like, real hip-hop scene. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I dig in the Bay, mainly. I like to go digging in the Bay. But um, being on the West Coast recording, I don't have none of the New York distractions. You know what I'm saying? I don't got my, my normal, like crew and people coming around and stuff like that well, you know i don't have to deal with none of that stuff so when i'm in la or in the bay it's like i, I could just i got a clear mind and the in the in the weather's beautiful at you all the time in and, la yeah you could just get up and move around and do you know in new york you'd be a prisoner in your house half the year yeah. you know what i'm saying trying to stay <laughs> out the cold so you know i just i, I love that you think la you think that. it'll you think the west coast will be your main home forever um, you know what? I could definitely like I'm I'm living in the sun for the rest of my life. So you know, what I mean, I'm definitely gonna be back and forth because New York's my home. But your mood? But are you uh, are you one of those people that's seriously mood affected by weather? Um, I think so. I think so now. You know what I'm saying? I think I got enough winners under my belt, in New York. No, you've done like, enough. I'm over it. Um, how many albums is for you now? Um, solo album. This, this is my third solo album. Who? I don't count the mixtapes like hey. Pimpie and stuff like that. You know, I don't count those. And who and who'd you go to for production on this album? Um, besides my uh, besides myself, um, my crew, the Arch Druids, um, my man Mushroom Jesus did one. Um, who else did one? My man Modus Op. Yeah, this was mainly just yeah me uh, and and KX Knowledge. Is there anyone that you that's out there that you really are? 
you know, like I said, you operate in sort of your own space, but is there anyone that you really would love to collaborate with? Or like, are there any goals? Mm-hmm. You get to live in this great world. Like you said, you like your privacy. You're not trying to be a pop star. Mm-hmm. You just like living off music and, mm-hmm. and, and being a professional mm-hmm. um, musician. Mm-hmm. But is there, are there any other goals, mm-hmm. aspirations, or artists that like you'd really like to, mm-hmm. to work with if you had the chance? A um, couple of people. Um, I definitely want to work with Doom. I could see myself doing. Do you guys have any relationship? Um, no, nah, we know a lot of the same people. We both from Long Island, but I don't know Doom. Yeah. I mean, well, no one really. And these <laughs> days, no one gets to know Doom. Yeah. I mean, Doom's <laughs> everywhere. But you, mm-hmm. you guys are such a. I mean, mm-hmm. that does feel. Yeah. Marcy and Doom on the same yeah. project yeah. feels like the perfect yeah. Doom collab album, and yeah. we all know that the Doom collab albums mm-hmm. are some of the best things that ever Absolutely. happened. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, uh, so who else? Doom. Uh, Doom is one. Um, man, I worked with everybody. Damn. Because yeah. uh, you worked with a lot of people on your way up, right? Yeah, I worked with a lot of people, man. Um, who else? Um, I would like to do another joint. I love Ghostface, man. Ghost yeah, of is course. Like, you know, Ghost is that dude. So I would like to get Ghost on on one of my albums too. Um, off the top, like, like that's what I've been listening to lately. Really? Like, Doom and Ghost. Like, yeah, when I go to the gym or work out, do anything, I kind of listen to those dudes. And Max B. He said he coming home, so that's one of my favorite rappers. Really? Max B, yeah. Um, what, what do you, is there anything current that you listen to that might surprise people? Like, like what do you think about the music that, mm-hmm. that exists out in the world these days? Is there mm-hmm. any, do you enjoy any of the uh, sort mm-hmm. of trap stuff or mm-hmm. happy yeah. trap stuff? There's a lot of interesting sort of different sounding music, yeah. and we find mm-hmm. that a lot of the heads who enjoy the kind of music mm-hmm. that you make yeah. and that I love, yeah. they have a tendency to sort of w- like yeah. wipe all of that away. Yeah. But I'm, I think there's some I'm good stuff out that. there. I'm not on that. Um, I can't say I, I'm familiar with too many of it, you know, too much of it right now, but... Um, I think people will be surprised. I'm I, I'm a big Lil B fan. I like Lil B a lot. Um, some of the new guys, I don't know. You probably have to name names, but um, some of the guys, you know, I like I like you know I like some of this music, man. That, that people are making, like you know, I like Young Thug. Um, you know, you like Drake? Yeah, I like Drake. Yeah. Well, what about what about uh, as we're talking? The Kendrick mm-hmm. just came out. What are your thoughts mm-hmm. on Kendrick? I heard it last night, man. It's ill, man. I got to digest it again. But I was like listening to a few cuts. I was like, "Oh, okay." <laughs> like, "Oh, okay." You know, but I, I, I expect that from. I like the Pepper Butterfly. Oh, of like, course. You know what I'm saying? So I mean, you know, I like I like Kendrick, man. You know, uh, one joint really was crazy. I think Al did it. Um, yeah, wh- which one is the Alchemist joint on there? Um, I didn't even really get a chance. Oh, you know what? I have the credits right here, but I haven't really got a chance. Fear. To... Fear is the oh. Fear, fear is the is Alchemist crazy. joint. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's nuts. Fear was like whoa, whoa. What's that? Have you uh, have mm-hmm. you gotten to work with Bronson before? Work with Bronson? Yeah. Of course. What did you guys yeah, do together? Remind me. A bunch of stuff. Um, just collab, just random collabs. Yeah. Let me I'm see on if I have Couches of Tona. Oh, oh yeah, I'm yeah, yeah. yeah. Blue Ch- um, you're on Blue Chips too. Yeah, I'm on. Yeah, I, uh, and Bronson got a. Oh, bunch and you're of on drums. a. Are you on a Mayhem record together too? Yeah. Of course. We did Modern Day Revelations. Uh, what was that album he did with? Um, Rare chandelier. Yeah, yeah, of course. Me and me, I probably got about five songs. <laughs> wow, you know I probably got like five under the belt. He's on some of my joints. He's on Marcy Boku. Um, yeah. but what about Badass? Not done anything with Badass yet. Um, no, nah, I haven't done anything with him yet. No. Yeah, he's got a nice album out as well. Yeah, I didn't hear it yet. You know what I'm saying? But I, um, I have been um checking his man. His man's got a dope album get ready to drop. Uh, Chuck Strangers. Oh, Chuck Strangers is super talented. Yeah, he's crazy. Super talented. So crazy. is Kirk Knight. Yeah. Super talented. Yeah. Um, well, listen, Rock Marcy, the album right now, Rosebud's Revenge is out. I really, really uh, give this my full endorsement and suggest it. It's Thank just you. like everything else we've done previously. Um, now, later on, we're going to do a Juan Epstein podcast, so you can look for the podcast with me and Rock. We'll go back in history a little bit more and tell the whole story. Oh, yeah. But the Rock Marcy album is up. Uh, is out right now. Throwback's coming up next. It's real late on Hot 97.